everyone hello dear friends welcome back to my channel welcome to element cakes and cuisine today i'm going to teach you how to make a very yummy and flavorful cake there are some cake flavors i just can't resist and banana cake happens to be one of them it's so moist it's so flavorful and it's so yummy growing up as a kid i always looked forward to going to church on sunday i really was so excited and i'm sure my mom or my parents didn't know why i was so excited going to church of course there was a lady who usually sold um banana cupcakes after church service and Luckily for me, almost every Sunday, my mom would buy banana cake for me after service. So I was usually so excited. Today, I want to teach you how to make that snack. Most kids love banana and they are obviously going to love this cake. So this is a perfect idea. It's a perfect snack idea. You can make banana cake and then you add it in their lunch boxes. And if you're receiving guests at home, it's a very simple recipe. You don't need your cake mixer. It's very simple. And we are just going to mix it manually. You can make this when you're receiving guests at home and you have maybe a party or anything. So I'm going to show you the ingredients that you will need for this cake. So for our banana cake, we need two cups of flour. Our flour has been sifted already. We need here one teaspoon of nutmeg. If you do not have nutmeg, you can use cinnamon. We have a teaspoon of baking soda half teaspoon of salt half cup of sugar remember banana is sweet one cup of oil two eggs one teaspoon of vanilla flavor this is completely optional and we also have a uh, bananas we're going to be needing one cup of mashed bananas now look at this this is the kind of banana we need for a banana cake the kind of banana that feels rejected this is a banana that nobody would love to see but this is what we need because it gives a very nice flavor to the cake look at this so i buy my bananas and then i keep them and i allow them to get to this stitch these ones have more flavor more flavor and also make your banana to have that nice brown color so this is what we need and then of course we have a bowl we are going to be mashing our bananas you can use this this is my pistol i love it so much or you can simply use a fork to mix so we're just going to mash our bananas we're going to peel this and mash it's our overripe bananas what do you need for banana cake our overripe bananas overripe don't go for those that are very beautiful, those that look so clean. So, we're just going to these ones are not very brown, but what I have is not enough, so I'll add this. And then so we have mashed a banana. This is okay. It doesn't have to be too smooth. So this is okay. So we are going to measure. So I just going to measure one cup of banana. Okay. This is one cup. And then we're going to add all our wet ingredients. It's a very, very simple recipe. So add the eggs. Then so add the sugar. And 
in at the other end. And then let our dry ingredients in the flour. And then we just mix this. So with this, you can use a fork as well. If you don't have a whisk, you can use a fork. You know, to just mix with the fork. So. And then we're going to add a flour. You can use a whisk or a fork. So if you do not have a whisk, it's not a problem. Even with a fork, you can mix. So, how easy it was that? It's very easy, right? Okay, I'm just going to put my spatula. I can clean the corners. And then, I've already greased a baking pan. I'm just going to pour this in here. I'm going to have a very big loaf, so I'm going to put all of this in here. You can use a round baking pan, a square pan, and for business people, you can make banana cake and sell. I equally do them in loaves like this and sell. You can make banana cupcakes, you can make banana cake. So we're going to bake this for about we're just going to bake this. Go and bake yours. Go and bake yours and eat and enjoy. Enjoy.